Cyberbullying should die. Every second a mean comment goes by. People have different stories. Being a bully doesn't give you glory. Any and any word could change someone's life, like deep wrist scars caused by knives. 95% of teens who witness bullying on social media ignore the behavior. Don't be the bystander, you should be the savior. All people have imperfections. Just because they are different doesn't make them less than you. Social media is supposed to bring us together, not tear us apart. Threatening someone on Twitter won't make your or their life any better. 52% of young people reported being cyberbullied. That number is too high. Instead, we should be supporting each other, complimenting one another for our positives. We shouldn't break each other down and cause even more negatives. That boy you just called sensitive on Facebook for crying? Well, his mother is dying. Or that girl you posted a rude picture for her about her heavy weight? She already gets a lot of hate inside and on the outside. She's on the verge to break. You don't know what they've been through all along. Cyberbullying causes many consequences people don't show. But how many suicides caused by cyberbullying will it take for people to know? To know that their words hurt not only the victim's feelings, but their soul. More than 160,000 kids stay home from school to avoid being bullied. So if you're a cyberbully, not only are you breaking down someone's self-esteem, you are also ruining their education. If this doesn't make you want to stop cyberbullying and put it to an end, what will?